What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and today what we have is probably my most controversial video topic of all time. This is the top 25 greatest Jacksonville Jaguar players of all time. Now this idea is obviously not founded by me. It was founded originally by the Jacksonville Jaguars. They've been posting, I think, one player every two days of their top 25 list, and I thought it was a great idea and a great idea to use for my YouTube channel. And now this is one man's list. It's very subjective. You guys might not agree with who I have on here, or you might agree. You know, and I think it definitely depends on how long you've been watching the Jags and when your time frame of watching the Jags is. My time frame was 2007 through now. So I started watching in 07 and currently am still a fan. So it's been about 12 years that I've been watching the Jaguars. So if you see some of these old school Jags players and I don't know too much about them, or you know, you would have ranked those players a little higher than what I had ranked them, it's okay. I understand that. You know, we both grew up in different eras, and I would like to know everybody's top 25 Jaguars of all time. I am very, very curious. Let's start a fan poll. Let's see what you guys would rank the top 25 Jaguars of all time. So what we are doing is we are doing five Jaguars every single Tuesday to uh, top it off until we get all the way from five through one. So today you're going to be getting the 25th through the 21st best Jacksonville Jaguars of all time in my opinion so let us waste no more time this is the top 25 greatest jacksonville jaguar players of all time number 25 through 21. number 25 blake bortles now this is where it gets controversial right off the bat i'm coming at you guys with a very very hot take and i know that this may sound crazy if 2018 is what you are basing it off of he left a very very sour taste in our mouths but this guy put up a lot of stats. Statistically, you can make the argument that Blake Bortles is the second best Jaguar quarterback to ever play for us. Was his turnovers bad? And was his ability to win in crunch time bad? Maybe. His stats don't lie. He also was the quarterback that gave us one of the most memorable seasons in franchise history, 2017. Was it mostly a defense? Sure. But did Blake mess up that much in 2017? He really didn't. You know, Blake Bortles went out there in 2017 and did his thing he also had a year where he threw over 35 touchdown passes now the argument to be made there is everybody's gonna say oh it was in garbage time oh it was in garbage time you don't throw 35 touchdowns by mistake like 35 is such a big number uh, as far as touchdowns go that you can't say all of that was in garbage time like there was so much flash and talent that Blake Bortles showed that year he it earned him a spot on the top 100 players in the NFL that year in 2016 so Blake Bortles has had good statistical seasons, but he has a lot of plays that made you scratch your head and ask what the fuck, but he's definitely one of the most loved people in franchise history, like to the point where he was completely shit in the bed, and there were still people out there talking about why we should give him another chance, or why we need him to be our quarterback for the future, or why 2019 he should get another crack at the bat, you know, those people actually existed in 2018. That's how much of an impact he left on the community. And I think that should weigh a little bit on this list. You know, people that the community really liked and people that the fans really fell in love with. And Blake Bortles was one of those guys, whether you like it or not, and in my opinion is the 25th best Jacksonville Jaguar player of all time. It could have been so much worse. I could have had him a little bit higher on the list and it would have been even more controversial. But I already can see the comments now. But I got Blake Bortles at number 25. Fight me if you want to. Number 24, David Garrard. You want to talk about a quarterback that gets lost in the shuffle a lot? It's David Garrard. This guy did everything you needed to do to be a winning quarterback in the league. He was a game manager, and he also made a lot of things happen with his feet. You know, he was mobile, and he has some of the most memorable moments in Jacksonville Jaguar history, whether that be his first down run to lead to a Josh Scobie field goal in the uh, divisional round, I believe, of the AFC uh, playoffs in 2007, or his 50-yard touchdown toss to Mike Thomas. Now, the year before he got cut, the Jags were in playoff contention. They had 
a chance to make the playoffs that year, but they honestly fell short, and they just needed to win. What they needed to have happen outside of the win actually ended up happening. They just needed to get a victory, and they couldn't get a victory. He did get injured a little bit. He was a little injury-prone, but he was a guy that, if he was around in 2017, I, I wouldn't say maybe he would last that long, but if he was around in 2017, this guy, if you gave him that Jaguar defense... We'd win the Super Bowl that year from based off of what we know David Gar- Garrard can do. And his arm strength, there's no question about it. He was accurate, and he had no targets down the field. And I think even giving him guys like Marquise Lee, D.D. Westbrook now. You know, back when we had Allen Robinson, Allen Hearns, if David Garrard had those types of guys to throw to, David Garrard would be in the discussion as the best Jaguar quarterback of all time, and there wouldn't be a discussion. Like, David Garrard would have been that guy that was remembered as the best quarterback in franchise history. I'll never forget when we cut him. I was shocked. I was shocked when we cut him. And then we decided the best player to replace him with is Blaine Gabbert. I wonder where his spot's going to be on this top 25 players of all time list. But without a doubt, I'm going to say David Garrard is a better quarterback than Blake Bortles because I think he would have done more with the teams that Bortles was handed. If Bortles was in a situation where he had... The team that Garrard had the year that we were making that playoff push. Sure, he may have had Maurice Jones Drew, but Blake Bortles would have shit the bed with that team, and David Garrard almost got him to the playoffs. So I'm going to put David Garrard here at number 24 of the best Jacksonville Jaguar players of all time. Number 23, Brandon Linder. Now, this pick may be looking ahead a little bit, but the Jaguars have already locked down Brandon Linder, and I don't think he's going to be going to play anywhere else. I really think he's going to be a Jaguar until the time he calls it a career, and by the time he calls it a career, he's going to be one of the best offensive linemen in Jaguar history. He's already the best offensive lineman we have now in a group that is already Really, really solid for the most part, if staying healthy. And he earned his contract. He earned his right to say he's one of the highest paid centers in the league. He's earned every single fishing trip he's gotten to do. I don't know if you follow him on Instagram, but the boy loves to fish. And he is slinging fish out there in the ocean. But not his fishing skills isn't why he's in the top 25 best Jaguars of all time. It's because he's one of the best pure linemen we've ever had. Now, is it a little early to maybe throw him on the list? I don't know. Is it a little early to throw guys like Jalen Ramsey, Blake Bortles, Yannick Ngakwe on the list? I wouldn't say so. Calais Campbell, too? I mean, I wouldn't say so. Like, these are guys that it's such a young franchise that even recency, you know, plays a factor that these guys can still go down as some of the best players to play with the franchise ever. And I think Brandon Linder is going to be one of those guys to do that. I think he's going to be, you know, kind of Brad Meester-esque. And, you know, Brad Meester is one of those guys that you expect to be really high on this list. And, you know, he had the tenure. He had the experience. You know, he did everything he was asked to do. And Brandon Linder brings those exact same qualities. And I think by the time he calls it a career, he'll definitely be higher up on this list. But I think it's fair to say he can and he is the 23rd best Jaguar of all time. Number 22, Mike Peterson. Mike Peterson reminds me a little bit of Paul Puzlesny. Hear me out here. Not necessarily playing styles, but as of a guy that was with the Jags for about six, seven, eight years, you know, in that range. And, you know, some players, some fans think that this guy is one of the best to ever play the position for the Jags. And some people will go up to you and think that you're absolutely crazy. Now, Paul Puzlesny, it's to be seen if he's on this list. It's to be determined. But with Mike Peterson, I think he definitely deserves a chance on the list, at least a little bit, you know, higher up there. He's a guy that I think came in in the Jaguars at exactly where I had him, at 22. So, you know, the Jags are definitely taking notes on what Treeb thinks of the top 25 greatest Jaguars of all time. He had three years where he had over 100-plus tackles, and that's exactly what you asked for for a middle linebacker. This is another guy I didn't necessarily grow up watching. You know, I didn't see him play. You know, when I watched the Jags play, he was towards the tail end of his career. But I know he was a fan favorite, and I know that his jersey was one of the most popular ones for the Jags at the time, because I remember watching George Lopez, and in a George Lopez episode, George Lopez is wearing a Mike Peterson jersey. So without a doubt, he was definitely a fan favorite, and he was definitely respected around the league, you know, if he was, uh, you know, shown in a show like that. So Mike Peterson, though I didn't get to see him play very much, is definitely going to go down as one of the best Jaguars in franchise history. And number 21, Aaron Beasley. Now, this is a guy I definitely didn't grow up watching because the Jaguars drafted him 
before I was even born. But looking at his stats, he never had a year where he did not get an interception. He had two years where he got three interceptions. And he had a phenomenal year when I was one years old in the 1999 season where he got totally snubbed of a Pro Bowl vote, which I was very surprised to see when I was looking at these stats. He had six interceptions with two pick sixes. He had two forced fumbles, one and a half sacks, and 66 tackles. Like, that is really, really good numbers. And in any other year, like, what was the secondary landscape like in 1999 to where Aaron Beasley put up those numbers? And the Jacks had a good year that year, the 14-2 and two season, and he still did not make the Pro Bowl. Hash, that's probably one of the biggest snubs in Pro Bowl history. Aaron Beasley, man, I need to, that's what I need to do. After this video's over, I'm going to be looking at the 1999 Pro Bowl roster and ask myself, why did he not get Get on the team. He at least should have been on the team. Hashtag justice for Aaron Beasley. Flood the comment section. But the Jaguars have always had really solid corner number one. So there's been some dark years where the Jags were really searching for that. But Aaron Beasley, really solid. Rasheen Mathis, really solid. Jalen Ramsey, really solid. There's a lot of players on the Jaguars secondary that deserve a spot uh, on this list. And Aaron Beasley is the first name to be mentioned. But he did put together a lot of successful seasons during his time as a Jacksonville Jaguar corner. Though he is not better, in my opinion, than Rasheen Mathis or Jalen Ramsey. If you're an old school Jags fan, maybe you think different and maybe he was a little bit slept on. But my opinion, right where he is, is perfect as the 21st best Jaguar in franchise history. And that was my top 25 Jaguars of all time. 25 through 21. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.